What's going on fellow cruisers? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to talk about how I saved 50% on a carnival cruise and I didn't win it, you know, gambling at the casino. Um, I didn't win it doing anything on a cruise. I didn't win it from the cruise line. This video isn't sponsored. It's all up here. So if you're interested in learning how to save 50% or more on cruises, then stick around because that's coming up next. So in this video, guys, I'm going to tell you guys how I saved 50% on my next Carnival Cruise. It's going to be my 11th cruise, so I'm super excited. I'm taking my fiance Danielle, um, and it's going to be a great time. Um, if you have never cruised before, welcome to your new addiction, because cruising is really an addiction, and it just becomes a lifestyle. Um, you start saving money in order to go on more cruises. Um, and basically, this channel is all about how to save money in order to go on more cruises. So if that sounds good to you guys, please consider subscribing and giving this video a like because when you guys give it a like, um, it just goes in YouTube's algorithm and I show up on more people's um, home pages. And so it just helps out the channel. And so with that being said, guys, let me give you my three tips to help you guys save up to 50% on your next Carnival cruise. So my first tip and suggestion for you guys would be to book your cruise through Costco. Um, now, some of you may not have a Costco card or membership, um, but if you really enjoy cruising and you plan on doing it a lot, I would highly suggest getting a Costco card solely for that reason. Um, not to mention Costco also has cheaper gas, um, so it's kind of a win-win. Um, but Costco's prices are generally cheaper than Carnival's. Now, a word of caution is to always compare Carnival's prices with Costco's because sometimes Carnival has special deals or discounts. So always check with Carnival and then refer to Costco and see which price is ultimately cheaper. Now another thing when booking with Costco versus Carnival is you want to make sure that Costco is also offering onboard credit which they normally do, even when Carnival is not offering onboard credit. Um, so that's another reason why I like booking with Costco, is because I can almost always get onboard credit. Now, the other perk with Costco is that they will throw in a Costco gift card when you book with them. Um, so ultimately, when you are weighing out Costco versus um, Carnival, sometimes Costco's prices are slightly more expensive. Um, it just depends on when you're booking. When Costco's prices are slightly more than Carnival's, you need to kind of look at if Costco's also offering the gift card and the onboard credit, and then also go back and look at Carnival and see if they're doing the same, except Carnival will never give you a, a Costco gift card. So you need to kind of weigh those as pros and cons um, and then make a decision from there. Um, and the best way of doing that is by percentages. Um, and that's something that uh, it's, it's really easy to do. Um, if you need help with it, just shoot me a message. Um, and then just a reminder, guys, if you didn't already know, we do have a Facebook group. It's called Carnival Cruise Cards and Savings. So come, you know, join the group and you'll be able to message with me personally if you need help booking a cruise. I'm not a travel agent, but I can give you guys some good suggestions on what to do um, in order to save some money. And so my second tip and suggestion to you guys is not really a suggestion. It's kind of a must do for everyone that plans on going on a carnival cruise. And that is to pay for your cruise with carnival gift cards through Allstate Rewards. And if you don't know what Allstate Rewards is, I'll link a video right here. Um, go click the link and it will walk you through step-by-step um, step how to go about the Allstate Rewards process. But essentially, Allstate Rewards is where you can get Carnival Cruise gift cards 
at 10% off. Yes, 10% off. Where have you ever found a better deal than 10% off of a cruise? Um, there really isn't one. And if there is, I don't know of it. So drop that down in the comments below so that we can all take advantage of that. Um, but 10% off, guys, that's crazy. Um, so it's called Allstate Rewards. You don't have to be an Allstate um, member. You don't have to have insurance with them. Um, you just have to download an app called DriveWise by Allstate. Um, the picture is blue. It has the, the hands together like that. Um, so go check that out. Um, click on the link. Go check out my video. Um, but 10%, guys. You'll save 10%. And so my third and final tip to you guys is to use your credit cards to your advantage. Um, if you're not using credit cards, I don't know what you're doing with your life because credit cards should be your friend. Um, they should always be used responsibly and you should always pay off the balance in full every month. Um, so essentially you're using it as a debit card. Um, if you're using it for any other purpose, you're not doing it right and you're getting screwed by the credit card companies. <laughs> so sorry for that disclaimer. But use credit cards, use the points and miles, use the sign-up bonuses to your advantage. I don't know when you guys are watching this, but right now it is November, so the holiday season is coming up. Um, it's essentially, it's here. I don't know when you guys do your Christmas shopping. But what you want to do to really maximize your credit card value is consider getting another credit card that has a large sign-up bonus. Um, some good cards out there are the Chase Sapphire Reserve um, and then the Capital One Venture. Those are two really good cards. Um, Delta sometimes has really good um, sign-up bonuses. Same with Southwest. Um, so those are some really good cards you can get. I'd also recommend checking out some other YouTube videos um, about the Chase um, Trifecta. Um, that's when you use three different Chase cards and all the points can be pooled into Chase's rewards portal um, and it just gives you more value. Um, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, if you're interested, just go check out more videos on the Chase, the Chase card trifecta. And so essentially with the holiday season coming up, what you could do is you get one of these um, travel credit cards that has a big sign up bonus say 60,000 points when you spend $3,000 in the first three months. Um, I'm sure a lot of you spend more than $3,000 on the holidays, on food, on presents, on whatever. Um, so if you get a new credit card and you spend over $3,000, you have 60,000 points that you can use towards your next cruise. And essentially that's one of the things I did in order to save a huge chunk of money on my cruise. I was actually able to save $700 by using credit card points. And that was just one source of savings. Um, I also did the Allstate Rewards. I booked with Costco. I got onboard credit. Um, and then when you add all of these sources up, it, you end up saving 40, 50% off your next cruise. Um, so there's a lot of ways to save. You just got to be a little smart about it. Do a little bit of research, um, especially with credit cards. I know um, they can be scary to some people, but they shouldn't if you're using them appropriately. And then another quick note about credit cards, even if you don't want to get another credit card, which is understandable, some people don't want to play that game. If you already have a good credit card, um, simply make all your purchases on your credit card, make sure to pay it off, and over time, you're going to build up so many points that you can ultimately put towards a cruise. And that's several hundreds of dollars in savings. So either way, you're going to be saving several hundreds of dollars on your next cruise, no matter what you do. And so guys, those are the three things that I suggest you do in order to save, you know, anywhere from 25% to 50% on your next cruise, um, because you should never be paying full price for a cruise when you have all of these different options for savings. And if you look down in the description, guys, I'm gonna actually put my exact numbers on how I saved 50% on um, our next cruise. So if you're interested in seeing exactly how I did it, go down in the description, check it out. Um, make sure to give this video a like 
so it can reach out to more people that love cruising. Um, and I hope to see you guys in the next cruising video.